Hi, I'm Austin Goolsby from the Council of Economic Advisors. And I don't need to tell anybody that this has been the worst financial crisis since 1929. Millions of people had their retirement savings cut in half. They've seen all throughout the financial system real trauma and the impact that that's had on the economy. Millions of people have lost their jobs. It is imperative that we never allow that to happen again. And that's why the president has launched a major effort to reform the financial regulatory system and set the rules of the road so that we don't get back into an environment where financial institutions have snuck off the road, are doing things that they should not have engaged in. On mortgages, on credit cards, on consumer ratings, on payday lenders, in a whole bunch of areas, some people in the financial industry were above board and were behaving correctly. Some people were engaging in behaviors that were not fair, that were misleading. They weren't using clear language. They were doing a number of things that put consumers at risk and in the end contributed to bringing down wide parts of the financial system. Consumers must be responsible too. But what you've seen over the last several years are credit card, some credit card companies engaging in things like setting the due date of your bill to be at 9 a.m. so that if the mail comes after lunch, you get a late fee because you didn't pay on time. Taking your bills if you have two different balances, one with a high interest rate and one with a low interest rate. They'll apply your payment to the low interest rate one, leaving you the balance where you have to pay more. Applying penalties on things after the fact, after you already took the loan, raising the interest rate on money you already took out. A series of practices that have bordered on deceptive and in some cases gone over that border. On mortgages is another area requiring plain language. If you've ever bought a house, you know you have hundreds of forms from many different agencies. It's really hard to tell what the rules are, what's happening, what are you signing. The key themes of the president's regulatory reform effort are transparency, accountability, and fairness. And one of the most important places where we're going to apply those principles is protecting consumers and really reestablishing rules of the road as they apply to you and your family. The president wants to streamline and create a new agency centered on consumer protection in the financial products area. It would take the consumer protection authority out of seven different agencies and consolidate it into one accountable agency that will enforce a level playing field that applies to everyone. So that there is a streamlined, accountable process within the government that, you, that anyone can go to, and we know that person is trying to protect consumers, is really important. This isn't about bigger government. It's not about overregulation. It is about streamlining the rules of the road and creating a clear, accountable government office that is going to make sure that these kind of shenanigans never get us to a situation where they can bring down the economy because somebody went too far and went to the extremes again.